Good morning, YouTubers. <clears throat> Dave Funk, oh, Dark 30. It's the time that I get my stuff. Anyway, I hope you guys are having a great morning. I hope that you are ready to receive what God himself has for you. And I say that with a purpose, what God himself has for you. I want to enlighten you a little bit here about talent, okay? Obviously, uh, talent is no substitute for character. I've heard that, and, and that's good. Um, you know, I don't care, you know, if you can sing your bottom off. You know what? Uh, if, if you're not singing uh, about things that promote uh, things that are good, of good rapport, uh, that build up, that uh, basically are of God, you know, what's the purpose? You know, but the the real reason why I want to address you folks is is this, okay? People have been given certain talents. I happen to be a musician. Um, how to say it? I I know that people tell me that I, I do very well, and and I do believe them. I play acoustic guitar. I I sing all levels bass, mid, treble, whatever, tenor, uh, I harmonize, uh, I, I can play the drums, I can play a little bit of keyboard, I can play lead, I can play bass, but the thing is, folks, people might zero in, and I want to say, people who say, you know, you should be using your talent for this, be careful, be very careful, and I'll tell you why, okay, and I speak from experience, if you, let, let's say someone approaches you for your talent in to, to promote a ministry, be very careful on what ministry you're actually promoting. It, and the reason that I say that is, is this, there is a tremendous amount of false teachings in the church today. There's a, um, the emergent church is what it's called as well. There's also, um, certain prosperity ministries that are coming on the scene and they're not of God, okay? Uh, there is a tremendous lust for power and control and wealth that is attacking uh, the body of Christ today and people get caught up in it because you know what? It's got, it's got some nice music. They got some talented musicians. I just want to ask you a question. You know what? If you build a ministry, ministry, hello, that is not of God, if you help build that and you do not investigate fully what they stand for and other people come into that ministry and they begin to be deceived and stuff, are you responsible for putting your gift and talents towards that? Yeah, you are. People, we can't be walking around uh, taking stupid pills because someone wants to promote. And I do, I do say, you know, uh, a, a lot about the uh, the music and worship ministry. Uh, Satan was in charge of music, and one thing that people who are musicians and vocalists have a problem with, and the enemy knows it too is when people want to promote it and say, oh yeah, you're all that and then some. Man, can you come and bless us? Be very careful. Be very careful about it, guys. Because it has the capability, number one, of stroking your ego when you definitely don't need a stroke. Pride goes before the fall. I know this, okay? I speak from experience. And right now, you know, I know, I know that I could go into uh, a, a church and and I know that I could conduct worship and, and do a very good job. Guess what though? That's not what God's called me to do. And I know that there's really only a few people out there that are listening to my videos and, and I am so thankful for you. I'm very thankful. But one of the things you got to remember, number one is uh, be thankful for the days of small beginnings. And then you also have to remember, too, that uh, the Bible doesn't say that 
that there would be a, a lot of people that would grasp this. Is, it says narrow is the gate and few that find it. There's not going to be many people that choose to find their way to the Lord. And yes, it's him who finds you. But what I'm saying is we're talking about choices. We're talking about people who choose to route their lives, route their mindset, route their uh, their very being for the purposes of God. It says, few that be that find it. So you know what? I would I would rather I would rather do something like this and get, you know what, maybe 15, 20 hits uh, on a video and have reached someone and made an impact than to be building a ministry of lies, building a, a ministry that builds up the pastor's wealth and builds up the uh, uh, basically a castle in the sand. You know what? <clears throat> count the cost. You got to really, really count the cost. What is the end game? And very few people will actually <clears throat> intervene and stop the stop the road trip for a second and actually assess what am I doing? What am I doing? And am I really building the kingdom of God? And I'm going to tell you something. When it comes in, when, when these people come at you, you need to understand that it is, I call it a spiritual drunkenness. It is a, um, there's something about it when, when you build a person up, okay, improperly. It, properly or improperly, it works either way, okay? Satan did it improperly. He said, you shall become as gods. Whoa. That's kind of a buildup, an extreme one. And and what you guys need to know is, is this. You need to be able to discern this. And usually that little tiny light check that you get, you say, hey, did this person really say that? You know, you probably better listen to it. You probably better very scrutinizingly listen to it. The Bible does talk about, there's, it says that a great deception would come in at the last days. And if it were not so, even the elect would be deceived. I'm telling you, I've never seen so much deception in the church uh, as I see today. And you know what? I'd rather take my chances uh, in with a, a couple people, just, you know, I don't care, just including my family praying with my family because you know what if I'm going to be praying and worshiping with somebody I want to be on the same page not only uh, as God I want to be on the same page that God's on but I want to be with like minded people when uh, God looked down and they were building the Tower of Babel he says look man there's nothing that will stop them you know what the prayers of the righteous availeth much you got a bunch of people out there that you know what they're a little island unto themselves, uh, and I'm talking about ministries that, you know, are basically prosperity ministries. You know what? I, I don't need to say a whole lot more. I, I hope and pray that you get the gist of this. Your talent. Remember who's responsible for it. You are. You're responsible, and you are also responsible for digging in and finding out. Who do I serve? Where is this going? And does it really, really line up with the uh, uh, the Word of God? And does it line up for what He's actually planted upon my heart as a goal, as a uh, uh, to set my face like flint towards the cross? Does it line up with what God has put there? And are there any things that are blocking me, kinda? from pursuing something that I think I want to do versus something I should be doing. Take it to heart. God bless you guys. And I pray this really, really hits the mark.